What's good, y'all? It's your boy Dash Cash back here. Another episode, More Life Podcast. Um, shit. Let's get it started. It's the More Life Podcast with Dash Cash. You really mad about the truthful nigga? Fuck your feelings. Three, two, one. So, uh, Aaron Carter, he died, what was that, like, yesterday? Something like that. Drug overdose. To be real, I'm not surprised. Like, where he been at, like, a, a troubling past for some years and shit. But RIP to that man, I guess. Um, condolences to his family. One thing I gotta say is kids, stay away from the drugs. People, stay away from the drugs. Like, make sure, you know, shit, you know what you're doing. Because it's a... It could be very consequential and shit fucking with them drugs, man. Like, definitely these days you got people lacing that shit with the fence and all and all that. You can never be too sure um, about the people that's pumping that shit out to you, man. But uh, nonetheless, let's say condolences to his people. Uh, he did have that, that motherfucking song on that Jimmy Neutron CD. I ain't gonna hold you, though. That shit was my a banger back in the day. And shit. Uh, what else, though? Lighter news. Uh, Eminem, he was inducted into the... I'm gonna call it the Music Hall of Fame. Because they call it the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And it's like... It's way more than just rock and roll artists that's in there. So it's like, bro, they need to go ahead and change that. But um, nonetheless, though, he was inducted into that Hall of Fame by Dr. Dre. It salutes to him. You should, y'all know, I fucks with him. And them heavy. I think he'd, uh, if I gotta rank the greatest rappers all time, and this is based on bars, it's always Eminem, Jay-Z, Big, and shit, like, I put them right there, that 1A, 1B, 1C, and shit, like, I can't really choose necessarily which one is the best, and they ain't got no ghostwriter allegations, no nothing like that and shit, cause Drake, y'all know I love some Drake, but it's just, he allow other people to write his shit sometimes, that that knocked you down when they come to being the lyricist and shit because i pride myself on writing my shit like but i ain't opposed to rapping some shit that somebody else wrote it's just shit i'm probably gonna be letting niggas know at the gate i ain't write that shit yeah but you know uh shouts out to eminem though uh it's a classic artist i think he's the highest selling Rapper of all time, shit, if I'm mistaken. He done sold the most records out of anybody. All that good shit. Uh, but, yeah. What else, though? Uh, shit, this chick named Johnny Blaze. I only know of her because she was on Breakfast Club. But I think she on uh, maybe one of the real Housewives show or some shit. Loving Hip Hop, I don't know, some shit. But this, I had to talk about it because apparently, like, her ex dude was accusing her of uh, faking a pregnancy test. She was showing the messages that uh, he was threatening her and shit, saying like he should beat her ass and all this shit for faking that shit. Like, and I ain't gonna hold you. Kind of feel that man. This <laughs> shit, yeah, I, I kind of feel that man and shit like. But then it depends on how invested he was into it. I don't know if she was really faking or not. Like, shit. I didn't really get past, like, the back and forth between that one I'm saying is real and the other one saying it's not. I guess only time would tell, shit. Gonna have the kid after so long. I don't know if she said she had a miscarriage or what the fuck happened. I don't know. But, uh, Brian was popping off on her for that and shit. Like I said, shit. I mean, I can understand. I'll be disappointed say, if I'm dragged along like four or five months just to find out she ain't pregnant and shit for real. She was pumping out at the whole time. It's like, nigga, the, the trust is gone and shit. For real. I mean, I've kind of been in that situation where somebody was saying they was having a kid with me and shit. And I don't know, they was putting out like the sonograms and everything and shit. And then they friend told me later on that a girl claimed that she lost the kid according to her. But to me, she's saying that she had the baby and everything and shit. But, uh, I mean, that's a, another situation for another day. <laughs> and shit, that, I mean, 
being these bitches and I wasn't tripping like bro was and shit I wasn't that invested into the relationship with the chick to be tripping like that but um you know these these females if they doing that dirty shit they need to be held accountable just like that hold that nigga accountable for not stepping up taking care of the kid or whatever shit yeah dude, you doing that fuck shit mm -mm, mm -mm. uh what else though Shit, I seen Saturday Night Live, man. They tried to troll 6 9 in the skit. Like, bro, that shit was cringy as hell. It's like Saturday Night Live, bro. They don't produce no funny shit. Like, bro, I don't even know nobody that watched that shit, to be real. Like, somehow, motherfuckers that talk about them either on The Breakfast Club or you see they shit. Like, you might uh, see Shade or something like that posted. But I've never seen any normal person pay to fucking do this shit. Like, I feel like shit, they probably paying Shady Room to post that shit in other places. Because SNL is garbage, bro. That shit, boo boo. I said, don't nobody watch that shit. It's always been whack. Like, shit, Mad TV was better, bro. Like, shit, that's y'all real motherfuckers from back in the day, shit. People that's. Them 2000 kids and shit, like, like as in motherfuckers I was growing up in the 2000s. Yeah, I remember Mad TV probably and shit. That shit was way better than SNL. Way raw jokes and shit. Um, yeah, man, that shit was cringe. It was cringe. What else? Um, Kathy Griffin, she suspended permanently for Twitter for trying to do so much again and shit, bro. Like, I swear white women is always overstepping their boundaries, but she uh, tried to impersonate Elon Musk and shit. She was warned already, uh, also other people were trying to impersonate him was warned, but the fact that like, Kathy Griffin got the blue check though, so that's the difference between her and a lot of other people that's trying to impersonate him and shit, but she's trying to do that and she wasn't obliged with changing her shit, so her account was suspended permanently. And she had completely deactivated. She'll have to restart over and go underneath somebody else to try to get that blue check. But I'm pretty sure once they find out that it's her, it's like shit is gonna be done and over with. And it's like she did the shit where she trying to what she have the picture like holding Donald Trump's head or whatever. And it's like, bro, like I don't know, it's just, I feel like a lot of white people, bro, when they try to come out and do that extra shit going against Donald Trump, it's like, bro, you just trying to gain favor over on this side, like, and shit for real, because your career not popping. Like, a lot of them, who else was another one? Uh, damn. It was another chick. Is it Chelsea Handler and shit? Maybe that's her name. You don't, you don't hear shit about her till she tried to bash Trump or some shit like that, bro. Like, and it, it's just shit be cringe, <laughs> shit be stupid, bro. Like, come on now, and shit. Then maybe she don't give a fuck about being on Twitter or whatever, but it's. I mean, I'm pretty sure she do. You know, all these celebs, bro. They care about that blue check on all that shit. Uh. But what else though? Dr. Miami, which if y'all know fame doctor that be doing the BBLs and other plastic surgery for people and shit. Uh he called out Drake or whatever because shit. Uh the song called Circo Loco on that uh Her Loss album and stuff. On that uh Circo Loco off that her lost album and shit uh Drake was talking about made the stallion saying like shit she said she taking shots but she lying or whatever or she lying about taking shots but she still a stallion then he said something about uh she graduated from college but she still ain't learned nothing or some shit I don't know and playing her album he heard the first track and turned that shit off. Which people been saying her music trash or whatever for a minute. Like her last couple of shits ain't really selling or whatever. But also I feel like she was an industry plan anyways. But nonetheless, Dr. Miami though, uh, he was saying shit. Uh, he was saying like what? And showing like he did like a little skit. 
basically showing what he gonna do the next time he said Drake need his body done. And he showed him like close to the window saying nah or whatever he said he's a hottie first which it's like bro is this nigga that's such shit. I'm like but he probably trying to just secure more clients like shit everybody fucking with him shit. If he saying he fucking with the bitches with the BBLs shit cause he trying to get more bitches in there to get the BBLs. That shit I understand. But, uh, I mean, it just, yeah, it go ahead and guarantee what people been saying about Drake, though, too, forever, that this nigga got the fake abs, bro, and the fake chest, and I'm just like, bro, the, why not just work out for it? But I guess he got it, and then he started working out, because he be posting the pictures of him in the gym and shit, but maybe that shit all fake. It probably is, like, half the motherfuckers is doing that shit for clout, and Drake is not shit above doing shit for clout. Shit, that's gonna get them the views or whatever. But I say anybody getting a plastic surgery, if it ain't something that's life threatening going on with you, the why you need to get this surgery, I can't condone that shit at all. No shit, but I guess uh, Drake done ruffled a lot of feathers though with this past album, and I still got that review coming. I'm gonna drop that shit tomorrow, Tuesday, two tight Tuesday. The review coming and shit. Um. Uh, what else while, while I'm thinking about it? Um, I listened to that. Uh, what, what is it? Only Built for Infinity Winks by Unconfused. Because I've been meaning to listen to that uh, that takeoff in Quavo and shit for some weeks. And I heard a few songs like that at Hotel Lobby. And that bad to the bone with that nigga young boy on there. I'm fucking with that. But I, I fuck with that CD though. And shit, that shit was hard. Like, I mean, as I said before, man. I fuck with Amigo shit. I've been listening to this shit for years. I'm not their biggest fan and shit. But uh also made me think about like shit. Me and my bro, we went to Roma Lowe some years ago. And we got to see them niggas perform. This was 2017. This was before Roller Loud became like what it is today where that shit in hella different cities and the tickets cost five hundred dollars and shit now. Like back then you could go for a couple hundred enjoy your time for the weekend and shit everything went uh over pack but like uh i remember they performed on the sunday like that last show and uh they came out second to last the share i remember hold on first we went to the other stage and the amigos was late and shit so we just wait and i'm like damn something happened over there and shit and then we go back to the other stage on the other side. We watched, uh, who was it, Uzi perform and shit. That was the year you see Uzi diving off the little, uh, the stage shit, like the top of the thing. He yeah, went through the crowd, climbed up on the thing, and then jumped off back into the crowd. And they took him back to the stage and shit. But Migos came on after that. Over there, that shit was tight. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I got the videos there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up posting some of them and shit. Like, I had to go through my, uh, my little cloud video and shit, but I got the motherfuckers the granny footage from back in the day and shit, cause that was like five years ago, and shit, damn near six years ago, and shit, right now um but what stood out though was the energy, that energy was right, cause Future came on after that bro, Future was the closer, and when I tell you that was a buzz kill nigga, Future like, he know how to make music and he got some good songs, but that nigga is trash on stage, bro. That shit wasn't hype. He barely moving and shit. Then it's like, I don't think he had no hype man or nothing like that. Or if he did, his hype man wasn't hyping that shit up, bro. You need somebody to have that bitch turn. Like, Future should have been skipping all throughout that motherfucking stage, nigga. That shit. Like, that shit was weak. And that's, they said uh, when he went on tour with Drake, when they had dropped that album, they said Trey could come out there, smash the show, Future come out. They said the crowd would be kind of dull during his event. Trey come back out after that nigga still for more time, bro. And I'm like, bro, you just, you need, it's a certain stage presence, bro. When you got the shows, like, when I used to do my shows and shit, the main inspiration for me was Drizzy. Because I always seen, bro, his shows is turnt, nigga, his stage presence turnt, nigga. So I gotta be on the same shit, moving back and forth, kind of jigging lightweight and shit. I'm like, I don't know. Future definitely was acting like he didn't want to be there. I can say that. But uh, yeah, man, shit, that unconfused. 
only built for Infinity Links. I'm fucking with that, that big stun. Uh, uh, they get that nigga Birdman on there. I'm fucking with that. Uh, us first them and shit. He said I gave my partner 50 cent cause he shot me to me. If it's us versus them, who you think gon' win? If it's us versus them, who you think gon' win? That's that shit right there. That's that shit. I'm fucking with that though. Like, bro, they got plenty songs, and then they talking about like how shit. They pretty much built QC. If it wasn't for them, QC would not be there. And that kind of go with the whole like it was issues, or it is issues between them and they label shit. You see that? Um, I'm like shit. What else? Quavo was talking about that sweetie shit. It seemed like they talking about issues that they might have with Offset and shit. Or take off seem like he kind of just, you know, shit. He riding with whoever he's still cool with, set, but it seemed like shit. He the type that, bro, you need to make that shit right. You fucked up. You need to make that shit right, my nigga. And that's, I mean, you should hold your brothers and shit accountable because he said they still fam. Or he was saying that, like, they still fam. It's not no no other shit. And also, I, I watched a uh, Drink Champs interview. This was before we even passed. Like, as soon as that shit came out, I had watched a Drink Champs. And shit, and uh, I'm like, shit, they was talking about how, like, they had orchestrated the CD and built it to sound, like, so cohesive and really put in a lot of time and effort to, like, everything. Like, if you go and watch the visualizers for it, like, a lot of shit, like, they really put a lot of effort into it and it show on the CD. And I like that, like, because, shit, I'm somebody who I didn't have projects, bro, where it's time, like, nigga, I'm going hard, like, shit. You spending hours and hours in the studio tweaking the smallest little details just to make sure everything is right. You trying to make everything blend perfectly, everything sound cohesive, everything go together, shit. And I fucks with it like uh, they remixed that. Uh, Ain't nobody told me I'm just so fresh and clean. And I like shit. I was fucking with that too. But uh, y'all check that shit out. Uh, what else though? I seen uh Netflix. They creating a whole anthology series around that uh, like it started with the Dahmer shit. Like I don't know if y'all seen that Dahmer series or whatever. But people was talking about that shit hella. I only seen like the first episode of it because man, like shows like that, like where uh, they just on that kidnapping, killing shit, bro. I don't even like watching them for real though. It's something about them, like, bro, it's just, I don't know, that's that real life shit that could happen. I'm like, I ain't even, I can't even really enjoy this shit seeing it. Like, I can read about the story, but, like, I can't really enjoy the, the visualization and shit. Um, what they said, they calling it, like, a monster type of anthology or whatever. I think that's what it's called, the monster anthology, where they're... Just showing different monstrous figures. They said they captivated uh, the whole nation or world or whatever. And shit, they're going to be doing that. So, um, I'm pretty sure people will be outraged <laughs> to some degree. Because they're going to say the same thing they said before. Like, y'all trying to capitalize off uh, other people's trauma and shit like that. Which, I mean, shit. So, uh, People always gonna be offended about something, but um, you know, shit. Hopefully, just the victims they get paid off this shit or something. I don't know. I feel like if you using the people name, likeness, whatever, like even though it is public information, like the people should still get cut in, even if you cut them in on the back end. Like they ain't gotta get no check up front. Give them a small percentage. Give them two percent, and shit. You getting two percent of a like hundred million dollars off something. Shit. What else? Twenty One Savage. Uh, he on DJ Academics podcast off the record. In uh, Academics, he shared a clip because the podcast, the full thing, ain't dropped yet. But uh, Twenty One Savage was saying that he felt like he the best from that 2016 freshman list. And you got a uh, Kodak Black came out said that's Cap or whatever. A designer came out. And I don't, I don't even know why designer mad because he know that's the truth. That he ain't better than no savage. But uh, let's see who else was a part of that to see if Twenty One really, you know, telling the truth. Um, let's see. 
So they had Kodak Black. And I fuck with Kodak. 21 Savage. I fuck with Savage. And shit. Uh, Uzi. I ain't gonna lie. Uzi might be the best one. And shit. Uh, they got Anderson Pack, and I ain't tripping on him. Lil Yachty, I ain't tripping on him. G Herbo, I ain't tripping on him. Denzel Curry, he straight, he straight, but I ain't tripping on him. Dave he straight, but I ain't tripping on him. Lil Dicky, he cool. Designer, nah, there ain't nobody worried about that nigga. Um, yeah, I have to say, out of all these niggas, to be real, Lil Uzi over all these niggas. Guaranteed. And shit, he, he the most popular out of any one of these niggas. He gonna have the biggest record. He got the biggest records out of any one of these niggas by himself. And shit, um, I have to say second. Oh, hold on. Shit, I'm doing the podcast right now. Shit, I don't know if you're trying to say something to the audience. Shit, I got my brother Rich on the phone and shit. I was just, uh... Discussing that 2016 freshman list and shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, what you think about it? Because honestly, I don't even think he knows. I mean, I, I don't know about it. Uzi. Out there, Uzi. Up, but I know he ain't fucking with Kodak shit. Uzi and shit. I don't really, I don't really get into Uzi, but I, I see it. I, I, I got to rock with Lil Uzi over all these niggas. I ain't even going to hold you. But then yeah, right under that, I'm going to have to put Kodak in 21. And then after that, see, but oh shit, what you my say? My nigga, oh my fault, my nigga Denzel Curry in there too. And now, like yeah. he in a different, like I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put him. Like he ain't no hit maker. Like he ain't for the masses per se. Like and so I, mean, I don't know if he'd be well in the verses, but my nigga Denzel Curry was in that. Yeah, I was. Oh, like, and, uh, and my nigga Davies. Davies. I don't. Yeah, yeah. Like I, again, I don't know about like the hits type shit, but shit, I know you. I feel like you're watching in that rap and shit. Yeah, and I was just saying, like, uh, shit, I fucks with them, they straight, but I ain't tripping on them and shit. But I was like, out of all these niggas, because they got Lil Uzi, 21 Savage, Kodak Black, Anderson Pack, Lil Yachty, G Herbo, Denzel Curry, Dave East, Lil Dicky, and Designer. And I'm like, definitely ain't nobody, don't nobody give a fuck about Designer. And shit, Lil Dicky, they don't care about his rap and shit either, though. He cool. He has some shit that was straight, like that professional rapper, and I say that money was straight back in the day. And shit, but uh, ain't nobody tripping on them two niggas. Dave East and Denzel Curry, they I fucks with them, but I ain't tripping like that, though. G Herbo, I could care less, bro. I, I was disappointed. Oh, what you say? I think he had given him a little bit of competition for real, too. And I think he'd been out longer and shit, too. So his catalog, I'm pretty sure, like, deeper and shit. Because I think he'd been out way longer than just 2016. I, well, I mean, I don't know when 21 came out, but that's when I got him to it. 21 only got, like, four or five projects, though. So he don't put out hella music and shit. And I was like, that's kind of the difference, too, between him and, like, when Kodak first came out and was saying that's cap and shit that he's saying, I'm like, well... Kodak do got way more music than 21 that's out and shit. So I'm like, for real though, Kodak got bigger hits though too and shit by himself. Cause 21 shit, his biggest song. Oh no, you straight, you straight. And my nigga smoking on that gas. The gas. The gas. You said, you said, right, cow number two and shit. Oh, shit, I thought he was the first cow, bro. Oh, maybe he is the first yeah. cow. Yeah, I think they made Ray with cow, cow number two. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. So not cow number two, who was also a Jew. Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. Yeah, shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. gold around his neck. Right, he was, right. <laughs> he was like, cow, I know every Jew got that fake gold and shit, the decoy for the real gold. <laughs> That's that classic right there. I know. He was like, you think I'm stupid? That nigga Carmen funny as hell. That nigga throw it in the motherfucking lobby. <laughs> <laughs> the real one under the head. You <laughs> say, <right>, nigga. <laughs> nah, uh, to get back to that shit, though. Nah, man, like, I fuck with it, though. Because like, I like the competition around it. And shit, and what it can create. I do, and, too. Like, and that lead me to go to, um, while we talking about the Jew shit, while we talking about, like, the competition shit. 
So on hip hop early. I still, for all y'all niggas listening, I still call the shit hip hop early. They changed it to hip hop late. Oh yeah, Man, I forgot that about shit that. Bogus. But now, nah, right? So like, oh, what was I finna say? All right, so like they was talking about that shit, but they got their little categories and shit. They be putting shit on there and shit. Uh, somebody pointed out in the comment section, like, when Kodak had replied to him or responded to him about some mess cap and everything, they called it, they put it under beef. For real? But that ain't no beef, so not, but they promoting beef out here. That ain't even no beef. That's just friendly competition. Dude, but right. that just go into, uh, what I was going to say next was like, they, they, you know, they tell you who made the article and shit, but do go under hip hop lately, JT. But somebody in the comments was like, I did a little dig in the research, and, and if this the nigga that I'm looking at on LinkedIn, which it is, because he got it under his shit that he the chief editor, or the editor-in-chief, or whatever yeah. it's called. He, uh, but I don't know anything about if he's Jewish or not, but it's definitely a white man. He, he don't look like he necessarily a hip-hop fan, he don't look like he belongs to shit. Man. Well, remember uh, what you... Yeah. Just promoting more nonsense. <coughs> Well, typical shit. Anytime I hear that or see that, I think of what Ye say. They, you can't say nothing about the Jews, but you could talk about people and say, "I want to fuck this bitch. I want to kill this nigga. I want to fuck this bitch. I want to kill this nigga." They, they only care about that and shit. Well, that's why I'm a plug in my nigga Carcino, Carcino for life. Or you can go to his other channel, yeah. Warcraft right, News. Right, check out that nigga see though. He get more like political and more real deal on what Craig News Carcino for Life channel that got more entertainment, sports stories, hip hop stories, all that type of thing. But anyways, he put up a video on what Craig News uh just just talking about how like the the Jews pretty much run sports the sports world and other worlds too, but that one was specifically sports and and how like he just went down the list of like all the owners and commissioners of all the like leagues around the world, not just the NFL, NBA, but all around the world, Ukraine, Germany, everywhere, Canada. Uh, but after he goes to that tier, he moves on down to like owners you know even brings up managers coaches sports media and everything but it just go to show like i mean it's, he didn't do nothing all he did was just name off all the owners that happened to be jewish owners and it was a fat ass list i mean the shit was like over 20 25 minutes long. just like just name dropping like shit i'm just gonna go to show you yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. throw the link in there and shit in the description. I still gotta like hit the link because you had sent it to me and shit. I ain't get the chance to look at it and shit yet, but I'm gonna check yeah, that shit. Y'all, for y'all soft, sensitive ass niggas out there, he ain't even saying nothing. All he's saying is this is who run these teams, this is who own the shit, this is who control the shit. They just keep it real. Exactly. Yeah, like, keep it real. But again, oh, you go ahead. Oh, no, no, I just was saying, yeah, keeping it real and shit. Again and shit, I ain't well shit, I ain't scheduled today, so shit, I was just gonna let them hit me up. That was actually like my last topic though and shit. Uh cause yeah, you hit me up at the perfect time for real, for real. <laughs> I just well, that's perfect then, cause I was I was just about to jump right back to that shit then. But, but nah, I, I just was gonna go back to what I was saying, like that's good for like competition and shit, you know what I mean? Like let everybody get their shit off and shit and, and to go back to like that whole class I think the majority of that class like I don't even want to say majority cause I can't I ain't looking at all the days right now but I think a healthy mix of those people if they don't give him a run for his money at the very least it ain't gonna be easy like, hey, like, Hell nah. like I said between and I'm like you say it's hard like trying not to be biased because I fuck around and say Denzel Curry because that's a personal thing like I know hella more Denzel Curry than I know 21 and shit this is what I fuck with him I don't know if the world feel that way so I ain't gonna mention him but a nigga like Herbo a nigga like Uzi shit I even say Yachty that nigga Kodak like it's some of them niggas like I don't even know Anderson Pack shit so like I don't know if he's on that same level. Oh, he might know. have bigger hits. He do got bigger well, hits. Well, yeah, he probably got bigger hits. Because he got that know, shit like, with Bruno kind of, Mars and shit. But see, like, I don't know if he be talking, like, street shit. Or what he type don't, of he shit don't. He be talking about. And see, and, like, we talking about, like, we just got to differentiate, like, what we mean in a verse.
versus like do we mean like the world is watching this versus like they do and like that's the time we do whereas we talk about like actual hip hop against the motherfuckers that belong in the environment the ones that like and you ain't necessarily gotta be talking about street shit but like I don't know no niggas that's listening to innocent guy neither do I like I know he wrote for a few people or he might do like ad libs and shit I know niggas that are probably that listen to J. Cole, but he probably wasn't talking street shit, or maybe some other niggas though. But I mean, like, Anderson Pat, and like, no disrespect to motherfucking uh, Cordae. Cordae, one of them niggas, he could rap his ass off, but the shit that he be rapping about, I don't think nobody really tried to get to him. Hell nah. And I fuck with the fact that it's a good message and shit like that. Like, I mean, he ain't got to be on all that bullshit, but. Yeah. That's true. What we talk about who, who is your fan base? Right, though. That's what is, what I be thinking. Right, it depends. That shit. It depends. Now all these niggas could probably perform in Atlanta or something, and that should be live. Cause designer got the fucking Atlanta sound and shit. But I don't know, Davies. I think he'd be straight still. Yeah, yeah I even mentioned Davies and shit. But like he obviously a different kind of records. Yeah. He that hard the straight New York type nigga. And, and so, like see like Denzel obviously not New York. But like probably yeah, right. that same kind of category with a name East as far as like the lyricism and shit like that go like and the like style of rap. Like Alright, so well shit, real quick. While well, looking at it I see uh, uh be quiet, boy. I'm too loud in the back. <laughs> so he put his earphones back on. <laughs> All right. You <laughs> <laughs> All right, I already have to tell that nigga be quiet like three or four times, bro. If it weren't for Leash being sick right now, bro, that nigga, I have to have him out there and shit. But, uh, Cause he turned up Like I know when you got the headphones on He can't really hear himself I guess So he don't know if he being too loud What all that shit Yeah they be like that Before you cut Before you cut the party off I got a clown on you Excited on this one I was weak at the toilet paper shit bro (laughs) (laughs) On the podcast request and shit Oh yeah go get that shit I was like bro I forgot that shit was even in there because I was skipping through it. I'm like, shit, I know it's one of them parts I was going to cut out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro, I had noticed uh, and shit into all the viewers out there. The sound is off and shit. Like, it was after I had edited it down and shit. And I'm like watching it back. I'm like, damn, when the fuck did that shit get off? Like, and I had already deleted the original version. So I'm like, damn, I can't even go back and edit this shit for real. Like, but it's because I had hit pause on there and I didn't hit pause on the computer when I was recording the audio and shit. So it's like they was off and shit at a certain point. Yeah, that shit fucked up. But uh, they said that nigga the baby and shit trending cause his tickets, I guess cause shit. Yeah, yeah, he had that like clubs and shit. Yeah, they posted that shit on hip hop lately too. For one, I'm sorry because it like his you said what his ticket was like twenty two dollars and shit. Yeah, it's like buy one get one free. Went, I think there was like fifty when me and Pops went. <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah, I think there was fifty and shit. But it but it is what it is. Fuck it, I spoke that nigga. But uh, I don't know, man. They was trying to cloud him on there and shit because his shit was going buy one get one free and shit. But, like at the end of the day, shit, it could still be an issue. So I know I, I was about to bro because like. For y'all niggas out there, I've been on this motherfucking website for at least a good 10 years, probably a little over there. I've been getting all of it back in the PS3 days, download motherfucking. When they used to put music on that shit, you could download this shit. I know, uh, classic time. songs and shit, like, not, not no, like, real deal singles. Like, but, uh, like, so anyways, like, yeah, I've been getting on this shit for a minute, so, uh, Oh shit, I ain't gonna lie to y'all niggas on Friday, I forgot what was going on. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 the baby. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I, I always be thinking about making an account, but then I'm like, man, fuck all that bullshit. But I about said something on there, because most of us trying to cloud that nigga, and I was gonna say, I just went to a the baby show last week. And to be real with y'all, 
I ain't gonna lie, the venue ain't the biggest venue, but shit, that nigga had that shit packed. And then I went to Davies two days later. It's funny. We just talking about that nigga. And like shit, it wasn't nothing like that. But it was a hip hop head show, but that motherfucker wasn't packed like the big shit was though. So mm-hmm. I know he made cheese that thing. And see, and with that being said, like uh, <coughs> the baby was on that academics podcast recently and shit, and he was saying that he liked performing in the clubs more because like it's more intimate and shit. He was like, that's where you really get your like real, real, real fans. He was like, when you doing arenas, it's people that's like there mainly for like the hits and shit. Shit, let me tell the world, and I got video footage to prove the motherfucking shit. Not that I gotta prove anything, shit. I support that nigga go to a show, but I, I don't rap for these celebrities like that, just to let y'all know. But anyways, I, I will let y'all know that, uh, shit, he threw a little bit of money on the crowd, cool, whatever, that was cool. It was what it was, it was, it was people, it was people, it was a little college kid that you see and shit. But, uh, outside of that, though, I mean, let me get, he, he started, like, hella clean-ass, fresh forces. Side one, throw it out to the crowd. Side another, throw it out to the crowd. He was showing love, and then the most important thing I say is what he did. He brought some people out on stage, you know, it was a little, little, little game that he was doing with him and shit, whatever, like a little game show, shit, whatever. Oh, I thought you, you know, said gay work. shit. Nah, 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 <laughs> no gay shit, nah, nah, no gay shit. No okay. shit. I was just saying, like, what? He wild, man. Nah, nah, like a, like a game show and shit, like a. Uh, like just just some little funny shit like competition shit uh like red light green light shit oh uh, uh, yeah but he had he had brought these three kids up on stage and shit and he was asking their parents while they was in the crowd and they was up on stage and he was like you get good grades da, 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 da. let me ask your parents ma dad you get good grades da, 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 whatever shit he pulled out a stack of stack of money stack of hundreds gave it to him Next kid did the same thing. Next kid did the same thing. I fuck with that. Yeah, just to let y'all know that nigga give her back. He showed her love. The baby is for the community. He for the kids. Now that's not to say if he could do more or not. You know what I'm saying? But to highlight some shit that people do good in the world, even a little bit go a long way. What they say, Wu Tang for the kids, the baby for the kids, nigga. Griselda for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, with that being said, we finna dip up out that bitch, this bitch, shit. Uh, Rich, anything else you wanna let these motherfuckers know? Oh, yeah. Shit. Ah, I ain't got nothing on the top right now. Shit, I'm sorry. Well, this is the place where we say what the fuck we wanna say, and we do what the fuck. We want to do the More Life Podcast. <laughs> the More Life Podcast. Shout out to my brother Rich for calling in. Shit, perfect timing and shit while we on here. Uh, I'm your boy Dash Cash. I think I said that already, but peace out. Alright then, word of my nigga Smokey, peace out. Peace out. You mad at what I'm saying? Well, you ain't gotta listen. But don't be crying, love, huh? Cause fuck them weak ass feelings. Big Dash, I don't care if you mad. I don't care if you happy. I don't care if you sad. You may-